Welcome everyone to Ring of Honor week by week. We are here at the UMBC Event Center, Baltimore, Maryland, with this huge exclusive six-man tag team bout. Ian Riccavani, Caprice Coleman, and we are joined by the Ring of Honor World Six-Man Tag Team Champions, Shane Taylor, Moses, Khan, Shane Taylor Promotions. We got Shane Taylor on the headsets, and this is a great showcase between six young men looking to break in the World Six-Man Tag Team Competition. This is an ROH week by week exclusive match. It's a six man tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Team number one had a combined weight of 545 pounds. Matthew Omen, Gabriel Hunter, Adrian Soriano, Primal Fear. I'd like to thank you once again for joining us here. Primal Fear getting a big opportunity here, Shane. Absolutely. You know, this, this whole roster is full of guys like this, young, hungry, ready to prove themselves, and that's exactly why Shane Taylor Promotions is out here to give everybody that has been told no their chance to prove that they have. And Primal Fear, three young men, Caprice, that I've known very well. I was at the world famous Monster Factory before these men looked like this, before they got battle tested, before they got the muscles and put on the weight, did the work. These guys have really been trying to prove it year in and year out. I'm so glad they're here. They're going to get a shot against three young men from the Ring of Honor Dojo system. These opportunities don't come a lot, man, so you make the best of them. And you got six guys that has continued to do that. And this guy right here in the middle, he's seen the stars in all of them. Their opponents had a combined weight of 594 pounds. The team of Dante Caballero, Eric Martin, and Will Ferrara. Dante Caballero, Eric Martin, and Will Ferrara. Will Ferrara, of course, the lead trainer at the Ring of Honor Dojo, but it's easy to forget this young man's barely 30 years old. I don't even know, I don't even believe he's 30 yet. That's exactly what I'm talking about, man. He, he, he's had a hand in everybody in this ring. Uh, and for him to be on that side is a great thing, and I'm also excited to see Will Ferrara back in the ring. Absolutely. Nice and like you said, he's seen, seen them all come and go. Nice to see him in that gauntlet just a couple of weeks ago, with a pure gauntlet. Primal Fear, who had a, had a really star-making performance against Mexico Squad in their Ring of Honor. Oh, look at this, that Ring of Honor day. Oh, uh -huh. That's how it's going to be with Primal Fear, huh? Does familiarity breed contempt? Definitely. We're starting things out with Hotter and Eric Martin. Hotter, the man with the ponytail. Eric Martin, the man in the Ring of Honor. Dojo, black with white trim. He's one of the bigger guys in the dojo as well. Absolutely, standing six foot three inches tall. And Hotter, probably the more well-rounded, if I had to describe That's not gonna work. The, the three. Oh! Nice drop down, tries to catch him. Leapfrog and a beauty, Eric Martin, hip toss, sends Hotter down. Arm drag takeover. It's going to be interesting to see the clash of styles here. If you think about it, not too long ago, SOS was in these situations. Looking to prove themselves, absolutely. Nice drop down. And again, a leapfrog. This time trying to catch Martin. It's Martin. Looking for a backslide. Gets it. Nice roll through. Potter sweeping the leg. Pushing out of the lateral press there, it is Hotter. Hotter's a move ahead. But Martin seems to be able to, to read and react. That's something that Ferrara is teaching them at the, the dojo, how to just react to your opponent. That's what I mean, man. Every one of these guys are so athletic. And, and like you said earlier, man, a lot of times all these guys need is an opportunity to show who they are. And what you're saying that, hey, I'm giving these guys every opportunity they could ever want by allowing these guys to fight for the six-man titles if they can win. Everybody should want to be a champion here. Everybody should want to fight the Pats. That's what ROH was built. Nice single leg there from Matthew Omen. But Dante Caballero with the hammer lock here. And Caballero's been making his mark. He's been traveling to Texas as of late. He's He's competing in Mexico and Puerto Rico. Down my neck of the woods. Okay. And the good Absolutely. thing about Caballero is that he's been wrestling for a long time, but he went back to the dojo, stripped everything he had, and said, hey, teach me all over again. That speaks a lot about his character. Oh. And Soriano now the legal man, and Caballero. Nice anticipation. 
Rolling through at the cradle, too. Ducks to the right. Off the rope, shoulder tackle, and Caballero is a powerhouse. Yeah, he dug deep and stood his ground. That's how he was able to get that shoulder tackle. A Gallo Fuerte, as he would say. I would not ask for Will. He's about to go to school. <laughs> Somebody needs to get their notebook out. Will's about to take the show to school. Here we go, Will Ferrara back in the ring. For the backslide, Will Ferrara finds a way out, but holds on to the wrist, maintains control. Nice snap there from Soriano. Oh, okay. The disrespect. And okay. It's a temporary victory there. Trying to get into his head here. He's like, let me show you how this guy, how this works, guys. <laughs> Just gotta let him know it's real sometimes. Yep. There's only one man in this ring that's competed at Madison Square Garden. Right, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> Just, give, Just give Will some time. I wouldn't, look I, at, look, he can't even get it on him. Uh, Hammer lock there to the side headlock. Soriano trying to fight out of it, maintains control of the wrist, sneaks under. Nice. Look at that, that's a pull through with a man. Gets. Will complicates the simple technicalities in wrestling. You just call it a Ferrara. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and you know what, though? That's how you know you're under Will's skin, because yeah. Will doesn't break like that. He doesn't break that easy. So for him to have that kind of reaction and return that kind of volley, Soriano, Soriano must have hit a nerve there. Knee to the midsection, that'll stop almost anything. Tag, Tag. made. One zip. And Oh, maybe he did. Follows him right out, but it's Whoa. Honor. No, that was smart. Numbers game. Boys, keep an eye on that. You got to think the winner of this match will certainly assert themselves at the top of the, the rankings and contendership. I hope the they do. World That's six a nice kick by Shane there. And right here, what you see in Will Ferrar getting isolated, it kind of reminds me of the isolation that Mexico Squad had you and Shane uh, at the pay-per-view. Yeah, you know, um, I, I wasn't on my game that night, but that's why we're the baddest team in our league. That's why we're still the six-man tag team champions. It is not on me to go out there and throw for 300 yards a game, right? This is why they're here. This is what they do. Oh! Awesome backbreaker, too! Soriano oh, almost with the three. And I, and I think it was des definitely a testament of Moses and Khan how they were able to pick up the slack and still get the victories and retain the titles. Absolutely. This is all about their growth, about them learning and growing and being better and better each time we go out there. And speaking of tag team combinations, we're seeing some great continuity with Primal Fear. Yeah. And Will, you know, we talked about Kenny King, you know, the betrayal. Oh, and, and how that may have changed your viewpoint that six that man could tag do it, cover two. Oh, man. There's an advantage in isolating the captain of the team because the guy that's calling the shots is in trouble. Right, you, you know, off the whole game plan. Yeah, so this is very smart by Primal Fear. It reminds me again of that the match at 19th anniversary. Shane, Kenny King. Uh, uh, it betrayed you, and, and it's got to still be weighing heavy on your mind. The way, you know, it, it was clear that SOS stepped up to the plate. They delivered in a big way. As they should. But it it pained us to see you. We could see you visibly struggling with some of the mental aspects, and that that's not you. There's two ways to go about this. There's the guy that I'm trying to be and the guy that I was. Both of those guys can't exist at the same time. That's it. Perfect. So it's decided what I want to do. Here's Will. Whoa! Oh, oh my nice. God. Hotter! Hotter sent into Omen. And Caballero. He's going to dig deep and oh, make that tag. Tag made to Soriano. Soriano might be able to, and he does. Waist lock stops Ferrara from making the tag up and over. Goes through the legs, oh, makes the tag. Dante Caballero in. Caballero using that strength. Charging in, collapsing. Now Hotter. Hotter into Soriano. Back elbow. Charging in. Up and over. You see him take that position. I mean, he was like, I could try this and it's going to work. It worked for him. Two for one special here. Caballero. Sent Soriano down two. Oh, man, looking nice. to break it up. Unforced error there. 
unforced errors is also evident. These guys know each other. They're able to anticipate each other's moves and cut it off before it happens. Out of the shoulders here. Martin, super kick. Caballero, gut buster. And Martin. All the way Beautiful. Hooks the leg. Two. Oh, and Hotter breaks it up. He broke Smart. it up and had to go through Caballero to do that. And Caballero knew where to be at. And he was still able to break that count, so it's very smart on both guys. And the passion you're seeing from everybody here, this is what I'm talking about. All the guys at the top are comfortable. You know what I mean? These are the guys that are going to bring that fight to you every single night. And Martin Northern lights with the bridge. Beautiful bridge rolls oh, through. over. Oh, let's go to that Boston Crab. That's the move Ferrara teaches them at the dojo. That's the move that he wants to have them use to try and win matches with. Oh, Ferrara speaking up, sent to the outside, into the barricade. On the inside, oh, it's wow. Martin taking out Soriano. Soriano does not have his legs on him. That boot took him out. Martin. Oh, no. Plants wow. it down. I think that's wow. it, Rick Cabani. That'll do it. Two. Yep. Primal Fear picks up the win. Well the winners of this match, Primal Fear. Oh, yeah. Primal Fear picking up a victory. Hotter, Soriano, Omen, their first win in Ring of Honor. That's teamwork right there. It was the cohesiveness, the cohesiveness of this team that was able to bring out the victory. I, I, well, I'm going to put you on the spot, Shane. These young men want a heck of a match. You be comfortable giving them a shot at the six man titles? Absolutely. This is what we do. If anybody wants it, they can come get it. Look at the eight. <laughs> Moses Khan. I, at Primal Fear. Y'all got one win and you talking already? Primal Fear, they want the shot. They want the shot at the six man title. The and baddest a, team in all of Ring of Honor. And that's a match I hope we see. Primal Fear, SDP. Don't get your down the line. Before they start, we gotta boys. go for Shane Quick, Caprice on me, and happy wrestling, everybody. Where's my popcorn? Don't get them ended before they start.